Welcome. This demo will show you how to use Encore's social features like tagging, ratings, and reviews. To get started, just click on the Encore logo. Encore will launch in a new window. You will need to log in to use these social features. I've already logged in, so you see my demo name displayed up here. Usually that would display your name. To get started, I'm going to do a search for The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I don't have to enter the complete author's name, but I want to give Encore enough keywords so it can take me there right away. I'm going to scroll down to the title that I'm looking for, click on it for more information, and I can easily rate it from one to five stars right here when I'm logged in just by mousing over the stars. I'm going to give this a five star rating. So when I click on there, I will go ahead and have already rated this as a five-star book. This is the easiest way to give feedback into Encore to let others know what you think about specific works. The second thing that you can do if you have a little bit more time and you feel like writing a review is to click on Add a Review. This gives you a chance to come up with a review headline and a brief review of the book. Then you just click Submit and your review will show up in a couple of days. Reviews are moderated by librarians, whereas tags and ratings are instant and will show up in the catalog within 5 to 10 minutes. The last and possibly the most powerful choice that you have is the option to add tags. All you need to do is click on the Tags link It'll take you down to the Community Tags input box. You can see that here we've already entered a Twilight Readalikes tag for this book, but you might want to go ahead and add additional tags. You would just type in your tag and click Submit. But first of all, what are tags? Tags are labels that can be added to books and other items in the catalog. Tags are added by librarians, and tags are added by the public, too. These books have been tagged with Oprah's Book Club. The bigger the tag, the more items that have been tagged with that label. I'll give you another example of how you might want to use tags. Say you have a kids group that is going to be doing a project on recycled crafts. You've found some really great books and you want to make sure that everyone else can go ahead and access that list without giving them all of the titles and having them search for them themselves. So you're going to create a tagged list. All you need to do is find the titles that you want, click on the title, click on the add tag button. Down here you're going to choose what your tag will be. My tag is going to be Crafty Kids Club. I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I don't have to type that again and then click Submit. You'll see that your Crafty Kids Club tag has showed up. If by chance you made a mistake and you want to take it off, you can go ahead and click the X on the tag. You can delete any of the tags that you place in Encore. Next I'm going to go back to my results, find my second book that's going on my list, click on that, add a tag, paste, submit, and I'm set. After about 10 minutes, your tags will show up. Go ahead and do the search for the tag that you entered. And now you'll see that over here in Community Tag, you have the two books that we put on the list. Also, over on the right-hand side, you'll see your tag, Crafty Kids Club. You can easily share your list by simply giving people the tag keywords that you use to create the list, or if you want to share the list externally, you can do your search. Make sure you're getting your tags by clicking on Community Tag. Then you're going to take the long URL that you see up here, copy it, use a simple URL shortener, we like Bitly, paste, and click Shorten. You've come up with a really simple URL that you could then share with others in email, on Facebook, or any other way that you want to quickly share this. And it will 
right away when you paste that URL in any browser take you directly to your tagged list. You can also use your star ratings and reviews to keep track of what you've read and what you've liked and to share that information with others. To take a look at what you've reviewed or starred, go ahead and click on My Account. This takes you into your account information where you'll see holds at the bottom and up here on these buttons you can see your ratings. I don't have everything that you've rated and your reviews and it will have everything that you've reviewed. So this is just another quick way to keep track of what you've liked and to share that information with others. While we're here, I'll go ahead and quickly point out the My Reading History button right here. This defaults to off, but if you opt in, then it will keep track of what you've read. If you have specific things that you want to delete from what you've read or what you've checked out, you can check the checkbox here and click Delete Marked. But it's another nice way to keep track of what you've liked in the past and what you've already read, watched, or listened to. Tags, ratings, and reviews are a great way to share your favorite books, movies, and music, and to discover new material. Please ask a librarian if you need help on using tags, ratings, or reviews, or if you have any other questions about using Encore, our new power search. Thanks for listening, and goodbye from Long Beach Public Library.